Hi everyone, Sandman here. This video is brought to you by a donation from everyone's favorite fancy free feline, Fat Cat. Before you close the screen, just remember, that's what she wants. Part of her wants this drama. She wants you to feel sick to your stomach shutting off the computer and not hearing what I have to say. I'm not going to read anything she has to say in this particular video. For the longest time I've been trying to understand your motivations, Fat Cat, as to why you keep sending me these messages. You know that men are going to get angry with me as well as you, and why you keep on stirring up the drama. To my audience, I get the feeling that about half the time, she basically wants to stir up drama because there's a part of women out there that's addicted to it. But then there's another part of them that wants order and control over men. At different times, I get two distinctly different types of messages with regards to wording and emotional value from Fat Cat. Those that are easy to understand and appear well-constructed with reason and rationality, and then you have those that are nothing but verbal diarrhea and almost entirely incoherent and emotional. That's when I realized that female nature is kind of schizophrenic. Living with and dating women is like being with two completely different people at different times. You roll the dice and you never know which one you're going to get on any given day. I put a link in the description to a video from MGTOW University called Jordan Peterson, Man Test Ideas While Women Test Men. Peterson alludes to this idea that women in the West consciously want to dominate men while subconsciously they want to be dominated by us. That in the West, men are whipped by women, so essentially importing men from countries where they haven't been whipped yet is something that women want. They want both types of guys around, the ones that they can easily control and the ones they can't. Peterson says that women are in power because in the last 50 years, they've moved into politics and universities, and this has never happened before. It's like the analogy I've used a few times before about why people buy more food than they need to fill their fridge, and why they throw away half the food and eat the other half. When they go to the grocery store, their rational mind says, I need food because if I don't eat, I'll starve. But another part of them, that subconscious part, wants them to buy way more food than they need for emotional security. If you open your fridge and see a wall of food, it provides emotional comfort in addition to nourishment. It's just like when a woman walks down the street and she sees the local white knights in manginas, they're willing to do whatever she wants to satisfy her conscious desires, of having a man take care of her and give her resources. But then she sees the uncontrollable migrant guys, and that makes her tingle. Peterson says that it fascinates him that women say they want equality, but at the same time, the best-selling book of all time, Fifty Shades of Grey, is all about S&M. That women psychologically demand to be dominated by billionaires, no less. With a billionaire, there shouldn't be any conflict arising with regards to resources, because they're plentiful and they're not an issue. But that now brings me to the topic of Fat Cat. I believe she wants men going their own way to be conflicted by her and feeling something for her, anything for her. Anger is probably better than nothing. This is how much MGTOW scares women out there. It takes away their ability to dominate us as well as their ability to have drama. All women, including Miss Fancy Free Fat Cat, can't stand the peace and order and quiet. They require emotional and social chaos. Once upon a time, I remember watching an old film about the Second World War where two soldiers were sitting at a bar telling each other to enjoy the war because peace was going to be absolute hell. These guys were joking about it, of course. But that sums up female nature perfectly. For them, a peaceful, drama-free existence is absolute hell. They exist in a weird state alternating between conflict and peace, like running hot and cold. All the time is what they're really doing. The men are the pipes and everyone knows when you actually put hot and cold running water through pipes over and over again and alternate, they're constantly expanding and contracting, and you put pressure on the valves and as a result they don't last as long. That's pretty much what happens to a man's arteries and what shortens his lifespan. That's what makes MGTOW so powerful because it takes the game away by putting men's resources out of reach. So women can't consciously dominate us or take our stuff. While at the same time we choose not to dominate or get involved in emotional conflict, taking away their ability to fulfill their subconscious desires. We're not only not willing to give them what they want physically, but we don't want to give them what they want emotionally either. My theory, Fat Cat, please correct me if I'm wrong, is that you send me money so you can read the comments section down below. To see the rage from the guys saying how much they hate you, as well as how much they hate me for honoring your request for these videos. You're giggling to yourself on the inside. But everyone pretty much knows that you have all the money and resources that you want through your wealthy family, so for you, resources don't mean as much. You already have that type of fulfillment to some extent. Instead, you probably want conflict to satisfy that subconscious desire to test men They refuse to be dominated by women. MGTOW essentially is unconquerable by women, but you're still going to try. You're still going to test us to see if there are actually any chinks in our armor. That's why I now believe we're seeing women move into more efficient fields like STEM and communications technology and companies like Google, thus introducing politically correct culture, creating chaos, and destroying the order that males have created. 
Ironically, those are the same technologies that are enabling things like MGTOW to exist. If women's subconscious drive pushes them to destroy new media communications companies, then they get off on the emotional chaos by ruining mostly men's lives and men's ability to communicate with one another. It's disruptive and that's what fat cat videos do on my channel. They disrupt the dialogue between men here. Regardless of Miss Meow's intentions, the consequences are fairly clear. I get more hate messages and angry men when she donates than at any other time. Fat cat, you must see this. But I've always wanted to make this place a forum where anyone can pretty much be equal and voice their opinion. But there's a problem with equality in the long run. The first stage of equality is always men giving in to women's demands, which appear sane and rational at first, like the right to vote and the right to own property. But the demands continually get crazier and crazier, like man-sitting, man-peeing, and internalized misogyny. At some point, men don't actually want to give women their drama fix anymore. Instead, they just walk away when women's demands become too irrational. Women assume that because men gave them what they wanted before, they will continue to do so. MGTOW Online is like men's immune system to gynocentrism. Men would rather walk away and watch everything that they've built with their blood, sweat, and tears crumble rather than allow women to use the same things that we built and turn those things against us and turn us into slaves. Men respond to reason and rationality, and if women ask for reasonable things, men are usually willing to hand those things over to them. But once women ask for unreasonable things, men don't always actually want to give those things to women. A few days ago, I was talking to a young 20-something woman that was into comics, sci-fi movies, books, and even Star Trek The Next Generation. Near the end of our hours-long talk, she said that science has pretty much gotten to the point where two women can have a child together, using their own genetic material, and that women don't need men anymore. Ironically, she also has an equality symbol under her profile picture on Facebook. The ancient Greeks said that when you give women equality, soon enough they try and push for female superiority over you. Of course I would have destroyed her arguments and said, well, if men are pretty much gone, who's going to make all the films that you enjoy or create all the culture that you consume because it's mostly men that do that? Who's going to keep the sewers and the power grid going? Who's going to build the houses and maintain everything? Women are so bitter at men that they constantly have to justify as to why they don't need us because they really don't want to have sex with us and that's what they had to use historically to trade for things that they wanted. I didn't give this young woman the satisfaction of conflict by fighting her for what she'd said. She even asked me if I was a men's rights activist. I said no, but I didn't bring up MGTOW. I told her that the men's rights movement is a joke because it's pretty much failed to change a single law. I know that MGTOW is not well known by women, even though it's five times larger. Because women think that men staying away from women is a joke, and that we'll always come back to them for more emotional abuse. That we can't really go our own way. Even Lauren Southern still jokes about MGTOW and says things like, remember those MGTOW guys from a few years back, as if we're less relevant today than a couple of years ago. I don't get angry at how women behave anymore. I accept it for what it really is. What really pisses me off is that everyone is increasingly getting angry with Google and YouTube because they have ever-increasing number of feminists, lesbians, transgender, and diverse employees. Men are directing their anger at the brand and not the fact that women are pulling the strings from behind it because they're so bored and enjoy the drama of destroying people's lifestyles and demanding conflict for men. Sex robots don't even exist yet and feminists are fighting them because that's how much women enjoy their drama. They're fighting things that don't even exist yet. They're so desperate for a tyrant to show up and put them in their place. Once again, MGTOW is great because it doesn't give women a hero they can abuse or a villain that can abuse them. It takes the game away and leaves them all alone in the corner of a room talking to their cats. There is no realistic way to give women what they want, so in the past men pretty much took everything from women because if men didn't oppress women, women would oppress men and everything would crash and everyone would suffer. This lesson appears to be lost in history and now no one is talking about it. Fat Cat, I could talk about this for many hours and try to convince you, but it's a waste of my energy because even if it made sense and order in your mind, your instinct would be to disregard logic and reason and eventually listen to your emotions and push men's emotional buttons because you're a woman and you can't help yourself. Early in my photography career, I exploded emotionally at a couple of makeup artists and clients that were driving me absolutely up the wall. I've learned to be nice when I'm working, not because I'm simping, but because even if you actually put people in their place, they will tell everyone how mean and nasty you are and that'll ruin your reputation. So that's what motivates me these days. What does everyone think? What motivates Fat Cat to come here? Is she trying to turn us against each other? Is she lashing out for attention, or is it something else? Is she possibly trying to dox me? Let me know in the comments. Just to conclude this video, my observation is that all women are essentially schizophrenic. It just depends on how well they can conceal it or not. Their conscious mind wants to dominate us, 
but they also resent us when we pretty much give in to them. They want to keep emotionally testing us forever and ever, and for us not to give in to all their demands, but compromise on some of them. That way they exist in a state where they're neither satisfied, nor are they unsatisfied. They know they generally don't have the same cognitive abilities as men, so they're constantly trying to shame us and put us down because they're jealous and have penis envy. Men these days are so busy in conflict with women that we can't actually focus on the important things, like maintaining and building the civilization around us. In the end, things will crumble because we can't keep the lights on and attempt to satisfy women at the same time. We can only accomplish one of those tasks successfully, keeping the lights on, because electricity isn't going to mock you and shame you and follows a set of rules and isn't a schizophrenic-styled Garfield cat making sense one day and not making sense the next. It could also be possible that Fat Cat is shit-testing me by sending me money and wants me to say no, I won't take your money or make your video requests. She might be waiting for that response, but given the bad situation with YouTube recently, every dollar helps. It keeps my channel running at this point. So if not passing her shit test means succeeding here on YouTube, I choose success. Anyways, that's all I've got to say. Thanks again Fat Cat for inspiring me to think about female nature. Don't forget to smash the like button like Fat Cat smashes the catnip. Bang the bell and check out the MGTOW mystery link. Also, please follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook to get tomorrow's video today. Subscribe to me on Minds.com to get the video for the day after tomorrow. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. And remember, a red pill a day keeps the schizophrenic kitty cats away. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.